so much was here in spirit with us. Thank you. So, Julian, um, since you're the old
so we need those young men that are working with Dr. Henry Love and we're not on that right now, we're very incarcerated. Um, we lost a whole generation of people who were killed in our family that didn't happen. Um, I don't, I'm not against gloves or grips, I'm not against anyone, I'm not against the police. I'm against any person who is murdering people of color or anybody and just getting away with it. I don't care if you're the same as I said to law enforcement. If you were in here, you grew up in Park Hill, you know me. It's the same thing as I said, the gloves and crips to their face. And these young men and women were receptive um, to listen to them. They were receptive to hanging out together, wearing common clothing like camouflage. We were literally lowering gang laws when this happened. Um, a lot of those young men and women understand that about me. They know that about me. I still talk to active and non-active gang members all the time. I have friends and family out of law enforcement. I'm not against any person other than people who are hurting people and getting away with it. That's it. So thank you. There's white poor kids on Broadway too, on Kofax too. 
It's not just an African-American problem, it's just affecting the African-Americans disproportionately, especially in cities like Denver, Colorado. We have almost all lost the five points. The five points have been totally gentrified. We're about to lose the rest of Northeast Park Hill, especially if we develop that golf course. Yes, I'm against developing that golf course, because we're not going to Yeah, 
systematic and strange and systemic racism um, and structural problems and and even to the extent that you start to think about well, where is all this going to go and why is it that there's just a suppression of the truth and in fact then there's kind of a promotion of misrepresentations about what's actually going on. And by the way, even after the book came out a year ago, I found that, you know, what was the reaction to the book from some quarters was as revealing as the extremely troubling findings in the book, which was that it was suppression. There was literally an ocean of falsehoods out there about me and the book the movie. Almost all of them, from what I could tell, by people who'd never seen the book or the movie, including people who sued me over the book or the movie, and then admitted they'd never seen it. So it's been you know, a strange road, um, but I do think that we start to come, come to have to think about whether or not you know, we know how the urban war industrial complex, criminal justice industrial complex. And it seems to me we're looking at this in this film about a piece of that that we could call the urban war industrial complex. And the losers in it are the losers in all these situations. It's our most vulnerable communities where we so not surprisingly, it turns out, I don't really know what's actually going on. So I hope some of the takeaway, too, is just a, a movie and a book, because those of you who haven't read the book, like the movie, the book has tons and tons of information. It's also a multi-generational story, which I specifically decided to tell that way, because I saw the same cycles of really a, a perpetuation of falsehoods and, uh, that have gone on, and as well as the same ways of targeting activists, you know, we saw people talk about it with them, that have gone on since the civil rights movement. And thank God I missed my own book deadline because I was able to get into the book and the film, the extraordinary events, including from the main character Terrence in 2020 and 21, where in my view he was completely targeted by law enforcement because of his peaceful protesting, protesting of law enforcement. Um, so, I hope this can kind of at least open some people's eyes to another way of thinking, and that maybe there's a way to try to start breaking these cycles. And this one may be more statement. Um, we, we are entertainers, guys. This is a real documentary that plays out like the movie, but this is really our life. Um, one of those little gloves that I've to see Baby AD, his mom, Nikita, is here. I don't know if Nikita Davis is still here. Um, I don't want to shout out Nikita, because that's for Baby. And she had not asked for Baby AD. And it was back to me. And she could have said that. Um, I want to shout out to Gerald Wright. Gerald Wright was lost his son last weekend, guys. Gerald Wright lost his baby just this last weekend. These are real characters. Gerald was sitting here, he just lost his son. That was Nikita's son. Um, um, Kathy Karen, her son Isaac was just murdered um, in a shooting. She's on my campaign. She's one of my campaign staff members. And when I started my campaign, her son was murdered two weeks after that. So we were still dealing with the death of these youth. Um, this is not just a movie for fun. This is really happening in the city of Denver. It's happening in Aurora. It's happening in Thornton. It's happening in Big Ridge. It is happening to our children. Right here, it could happen tonight. Thank you all, thank you Julian, thank you.